You play the part of an outcast who narrowly escapes execution in the story. After making your way out of medieval dungeons, you will find yourself in a bizarre lab full of tests and physics equipment. There are also horn modes and game mods available at a terminal. So this hub, which has a number of additional modes, is relevant to the plot, but unfortunately, Stress Level Zero confusedly incorporated it into the narrative. In general, it isn't easy to understand all the meta-levels of the story. Obviously, the simulation of a fantastic medieval world has certain problems. However, as with its predecessor, you have a variety of options for blocking attacks. Offers changing body functions. This issue is somewhat resolved by the character's inventive new body change. Unfortunately, this element doesn't become available until the end of a roughly 6 hour campaign, but it offers the game's most enjoyable moments. A welcome change has been made to the game despite the fact that the characters have changed. It is admirable that our movements are implemented generally rather than precisely. Small excursions across speeding treadmills or into concealed ventilation ducts repeatedly lead to pleasant small aha moments. Dubstep and synth pop beats that are properly fast-paced frequently accompany the excursions. 